Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be making um, this Rocket Firecracker um, 4th of July candy treat tube. Um, not exactly sure what to call it. It's my son calls it a rocket. My daughter calls it a firecracker fireworks. Um, but it's a lot of fun with the little metal um, sparks coming out the bottom as if it's taken off. Um, and they love it when I make these. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, the first part we're going to do is we're going to make the sparklers on the bottom. And so I've got some stars that I've cut out. And I need to run these through, yes, even the tiny ones, um, through my awesome Xyron Creative Station Light. And as you can see, this is the five inch refill in there. And they do make, this does have a three inch refill as well. And then there is an even bigger one that is really nice because it has a nine inch refill. So I'm going to show you, most people wouldn't think you can stick these little teeny tiny stickers through here, but you really can, or stars, or little items. And so I'm going to show you. Now when we make the sparklers, I'm going to need two each of every star that I am going to use. So I'm going to stick these in here, like so, and then I have this little... Um, poker tool and I just slide my stars all the way up to the very edge where the adhesive can grab a hold of them and turn the knob and make sure that these stars are getting grabbed. And I just push them through one at a time. So I'm going to move this a little bit so you can see that they actually do come out the other side. And everything came through. So you can actually put even the tiniest of little things through the Xyron Creative Station light. And I'm going to burnish these a little bit, make sure the adhesive is on there good and sticky. Now, for the sparkler part, I have this really thin wire that you can get almost anywhere. Um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, wherever. And it's just in, you can get it in jewelry, you can get it in the floral, you can get it in wedding probably. Um, and then, now that I have that cut off, and you can see I just cut it off with my paper snips, so it's not too hard to cut. Um, I have this tool that I got in the jewelry section as well, and I'm just going to take the wire, maybe, <laughs> there we go, and we're going to wrap it around to make it spiral. Okay, you can do this on a pencil. If you don't have one of these tools, you can do it on a pencil, you can do it on a pokey tool. You can do it on anything that you can basically wrap it around in a circle. And if you don't want to go get the wire, you can always use ribbon. You can use um, pipe cleaners or whatever you like. Now that I have this all done, I'm going to pull this out just a bit. Okay. Now the ends of the wire are pokey. So if you have tiny ones and you use the wire, what you can do is, I'm gonna pull this off, is you can take, like I have these really tiny, tiny stars, and I'm just gonna take the stars, put one on one side, and then match it up on the other side, covering up that metal end. That way nobody gets poked and hurt. So I'm going to put one more star on here, or set of stars, excuse me. 
And I'm going to put those ones right about here. Now you'll see that it's still curly, but because this wire is so thin, I can just smash it down and it works just fine. So I do have my other ones all finished. And now I'm just gonna tie, if <laughs> they wanna stick together, um, I'm just gonna tie, put the ends of them all together like this. And I'm going to just twist them like a bread tie. Like you would get on a loaf of bread or something. Okay, so now they're all tied together and you can position them however you want to and move them about. So now that that part is done, I can move on to the next part, which I have some tissue paper. There's about five layers here of tissue paper and I'm gonna pull one, two of these off. There we go, I think that's two, yep. So I'm gonna pull two of those off and I'm gonna set those aside just for a moment. Now I'm gonna use my Xyron Mega Runner and I am going to first poke a hole in the center of here. That way when I put this through the hole, I won't be sticking to the whole thing. So I'm gonna put some of this all over the circles try not to stick because it gets really sticky when it's on the tissue paper even more so than regular paper so I'm going to slide that off I'm going to stick these through the hole Oops, trying not to stick to the tissue paper and I'm going to bend this down into the adhesive that I put on there so that the um, sparklers won't come out. And then I'm gonna put these right on top, just to seal those in so they don't go anywhere. Now I just remembered that I didn't put adhesive between the two, so I'm gonna do that really fast. There we go. And now I'm gonna stick that on there. Okay, so our sparkler part and our bottom are finished. Now to make it the tube part of the rocket, I used a just a bounty um, paper towel roll. You can use toilet paper rolls. You can use anything that you have around the house. Um, you can even use shipping tools, tubes. Shipping tubes will actually come with the plastic top and bottom so you don't really have to mess with trying to keep your candy in there. Now I cut this one at five, five inches. I measured it to five inches and then I actually cut this one open so I could see how wide to cut my paper because I didn't need this half. I already made four others of these and I only need one more. So I actually cut this one open to see how wide it was and that was five and a quarter inches. So I actually cut my paper at five by five and three quarters so that I could have some overlap. And this paper has actually already been through my Xyron Creative Station light. So now I'm going to adhere this part of the rocket ship. And I'm just gonna take my, cre my Xyron Creative make or my Xyron Mega Runner and put that around the sides and just get it nice and sticky because what we're going to do is we're just going to stick this on the end and then push it over. Now some of these are going to come up as you can tell but that is okay if it comes up because what we can do, the Xyron Light, or the Xyron Mega Runner, sorry, I keep saying my Xyron, 
creative station light because I have it stuck in my head. Um, it runs so smoothly and so easily that you can just stick that down and it's no problem at all. It's actually really just easy and nice. So I have most of those down and the rest of this is going to be secured by the um, pattern paper that I put around. And I didn't burnish this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. And I'm going to take this off. There we go. And take my paper off. And to make sure that I get it even, I'm just going to set this straight on the table, straight this down on the table. Okay, make sure this end is down. And I'm actually going to burnish that down a little bit, just to make sure that stays down and doesn't come popping up because I didn't get it on there well enough. And then I am just going to go ahead and put this around. If I don't stick to everything else first in the process. Okay, there we go. So that is all the way around. I'm gonna burnish that end a little bit. And I just go all the way around with this. And it's okay that this is poking out a little bit because it's going to be holding the candy in. Okay, so there is our end. And this is actually the end that the kids will more than likely tear off to get to the candy by just pulling this part out. Okay. So now I'm going to fill this up with some candy. And I just have like various pieces of candy that my kids like. You can also pit, put like the little um, parachute guys. You can put bubbles and like the little tiny party bubbles. You can put those in here. There's just a lot of different things that you can stick in there. So there's that part. And I forgot to turn my glue gun on. So I'm going to pause this really fast and come back. Okay, so we have a couple of seconds until my um, glue gun is completely heated up. So I'm going to show you right fast how to do the very top lid. And then we'll just put it on. So this is just um, a scallop circle that I have cut out using one of my favorite die cuts. You can use a regular circle. You don't have to have a scallop circle. And I've just cut this to the middle of the circle. And I'm going to use my Xyron Mega Runner to put some adhesive on here. And then you just take the flap that doesn't have adhesive and put it over the flap that does. There we go. And I try to line up the, the scallops so that it looks nice and even. And so you have your little, the top of your firework. So, looks like my glue gun is all heated up, so I'm going to put some glue on that. Because you definitely want that to stay on. And at the angle that it is, sometimes it's not the easiest to get that to stay. So I do suggest a hot glue gun. There we go. So I've got the hot glue on there. And we just pop that right onto the top. And push down, make sure that's secure in all areas. And there we go. We have our Rocket Candy Treat Holder. In which it's a lot of fun to get the candy out for the kids. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and we'll come back and see more of my videos. Thank you, have a good day.